Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, check that out. Is that a piece of square? They make like a cool like pull up station. <sighs> Ugh. Safety eyewear. Oh, look at that. Safety glasses. Say what? Throw it up, safety glasses. This is that one I hit the other day that had all the hose stuff in it. I was just kind of curious. See if they're going to toss that anymore, but they got the open top gone. I'm guessing they're about done. With all those old business cards. Yep, company's going under, man. That's for a Ryobi. Maybe. All right, I think that's about. Oh, look at that. Big old chunk of steel. Ugh. You know, I bet that's trash, but that's that's the gray area. I mean, I'm more than positive that's what it's for, or that's why it's there. But we'll see. They put a free sign on it, fair game. Some brass. But, you know. Somebody may have been like set it to the side that was clearing the place out and it's like, you know, I could use that for like just what I said. An exercise device. See, there's a fence. And they may have just set that aside so they'll come back later and get it, but I'll take the safety specs. Oh, dumpster, dumpster. You got some scrap, I see, but. Ah, oh, that's not even worth it. Ooh, I do see some breakers in there, though. down in there there's a big one right here oh it's like a uh, noodling huh Dang, there's a bunch of them in there Let's see 30 amp Ten, tw or twenty and a twenty. A little bit of scrap. Oh, let's see. This is pretty cool, yo. Man, they just keep going too. Something's gonna come grab my arm and pull me in. And then you'll never hear from Mike the Scavenger again. All right. This thing is stuffed, bro. Let's see. Like, it is full. Ooh, that wood glue is no bueno looking. all of these yo oh there's something big in there oh yeah it's heavy too oh that sucker's high and it's big hold up holy cow that's a big boy that's a big breaker. 
30 amp. Let's see. There goes another box. That's another one of them big old fuse. I guess that's a fuse, huh? A dual element time delay current limiting. Yeah, big old fuse. Look at the copper fittings on there. Holy shoot. Or the copper in not to fit. It's got a little number one in it. Ugh. Boy, it just keeps coming. Hold on. I think we're almost there though. Yeah, they threw this in and then they just threw all of that crap in there. Yeah, those are used. I don't know about them fuses. Them fuses look pretty darn new to me. Get down at the bottom of the box. Let's see here. Come in here, bitta. All right, I think that's about it. There's a few more. Hold on. Couple more. Hold on, there's a box. I think it's another one of the big old fuses. Sure is. Show do tennis shoe. Right. Oh man, I think it's stuff. All right, we're getting somewhere now. couple more yeah I can't even move the box it's so wedged in there They're like, it's really hard to reach them now. But we're getting them. Doing it. Doing it well. Oh, y'all got a better view than I do. I can feel one. There's two. There's two. Two more, two more, one, two, sweet, come to party up, breaker, breaker, uh oh, uh oh, hell yeah, Y'all wanna go down the, uh, down the garage? Let's go. Y'all hold on. Shiny going that fast, that turns to ice. Hell. I got security I'm trying to run me out of here. Oh, yeah, there goes some more scrap. Shoot, yeah. box the 
some uh, conduit. Got some number one inside. There's all aluminum. Ooh, look at that. That's the good stuff right there. Aluminum pieces here. Lots of electrical stuff, y'all. Look at that. Spaceship stuff. Light bulb, there's some more conduit. Aluminium. All that. A piece of copper. A bit of copper in here. Go ahead and get it. Grab a box, shall we? Get a little clipping. All right. Don't sweat the little stuff, y'all. Don't sweat the little stuff. Chunk of bread. I could probably probably a couple more pieces left, but I think we got some okay stuff. Alright. Oh. Gotta get that grab. Sweet. Alright, we got a little bit. Not too shabby, y'all, not too shabby. Uh, another one of my honey holes lately. There's a little aluminum. <laughs> oh, step up, baby. Light bulb city, y'all. A little piece of tin. Oh. Yeah, tin. What the heck is going on here? It's a uh, filing cabinet. Just chilling in a parking lot. I'm willing to bet they probably put them out here for scrap, Anderson, Hickey. But I don't know. Maybe we'll come back by here tomorrow. Maybe there'll be a free sign. Here, you know what? Free question mark. Maybe they'll see it. I don't think it's supposed to rain tonight. And then uh, if, see if they check yes or no. We'll come back. We'll come back and see. On and on the floor, and then it goes, and then it goes, and it goes till it goes no more. Ooh, I ain't messing with no air filters, y'all. Okay. This is Some sort of 3M Smith. What the heck do we got going on here? Boing! Out of my hand. Oh, it's just like a poster or something. Even in English, I don't know. I just don't know, Pop. I can't do it. <sighs> yeah, I know.
Good save, huh? Whoa! We got here, yeah. There's the box. What the hell? Laboratory oven. That thing says laboratory. Oh, this is like oil absorbent. It's brown, I wonder. It must be used. What, what the? Uh oh. We got a nasty dumpster. By nasty, I mean awesome. Gas detection tubes. Huh. Let's get that oven out. Oh, I see a little diaphragm pump down there. Jeez Louise, bro. It says not working. Not working. 310-2016, it was not working. So yeah, somebody cleaned up. Somebody clean it out shop. Probably some good material on there though. Let's see what this thing is. All these gauges. It's empty. Geotech. Cool box though. Uh, suitcase. Travel carrier. Look at all these gauges. Uh. Magnahelic. That's some spaceship stuff. Oh. It's even got a little rope. Lower her down. Oh. oh, these are expensive. I remember these from the oil field. Drager, they do like a O2 testing. It's unopened stuff. Take a look at it, morning. Yeah, y'all. Some diaphragm pumps. And you saw ran. Oh. Oh, stuff. I don't know, these, pla these pumps are mostly plastic, huh? Uh, I think, I think so. I think for the most part, they're plastic. Uh, what are these? Those are pretty heavy. They feel like a bearing of some sort. Look at that beaker. Oh, it's cracked. Make a big bone there, isn't it? What's up, plastic? It's an air regulator, your air filter. Master Flex. Look at all this stuff. 
stuff. Holy shizzle. Got a mountain of interesting things. Oh, oh that thing broke. Hey, that's a cool funnel. Get these pumps. I don't know, maybe you're regretting grabbing these, but I'm sure if I, they're mostly plastic. I'm sure though, if I put them out by the street, somebody probably come up and grab them. What is that? It says alcohol knocks waste. Yeah, we won't mess with that. Pump. Peligro. All right, I think I felt like I saw some stuff. Back here. Ugh. There's more uh, beakers and stuff. Like that acrylic stuff. That'd be pretty cool for uh, arts and crafts and what have you. Some hose. Tie gun. This dumpster is like uh, this. The this the winner of the night. Some more of these guys. Acrylic stuff. Some compact nukes. And just a bunch of stuff that. I don't know. Someone's probably screaming at me right now, like to grab those things, but I don't know what they are. They look like they're missing stuff. Oh, hey. Hmm. I don't know. What do y'all think? There's some sort of plastic fittings. I don't know. <sighs> y'all let me know. I'm going to leave it here. It'll probably be here again tomorrow. <sighs> but for the time being... <clears throat> I'll be hoarding stuff I don't need to. Ugh. That's the broken one. That goes another pump. Plastic cover. All right, plastic cover. Let's see what you do. Oh. What are these? Ooh, people are racing. I don't know what that is. Some sort of material, almost like a screen of sorts. There's a bunch of it in here. <sighs> I can't take it with me though. <sighs> I said bring only what you need to survive. <sighs> is that somebody's little pump? Pump. Speaking of pumps, oh. right. ah. more hose. Another pump. Another pump. 
when I come back by with Dottie, I got the uh, snips in the truck. I'm gonna cut all these brass ends off. <sighs> what an interesting dumpster. All right. Oh shoot, don't fall. Ah, don't fall. All right, right y'all, I think that's like... Ooh, that's glass. Do I hear something? It's sand. Okay, I thought it was like, oh, shoot. I thought it was like gas or something. Dude, dude, let's hop up out of here. Oh, God, look at all this stuff. You okay? You okay? Oh, you okay? Right. Oh, gotta go get the truck. Whew. Yeah, baby, that's what's up. Whoa, all righty, scavengers. Good morning. How are we doing today? All right, I slept well, I slept well. A little sore, a little sore, you know, as to be expected from lifting all this crazy, awesome stuff out of the dumpsters. Anyways, all in all, I think it was a somewhat successful evening. We did get some scrap back here. Uh, I've got some of the electrical boxes and what have you. Uh, we did load up on these pumps. These are, uh, they're called diaphragm pumps. Definitely all been used. Some of them are in pieces. Uh, they're mostly plastic but there is stainless on here we can pop off and some of them like right there they have a little brass fitting on it uh so uh how these work my understanding i used to work on reciprocating pumps which is similar to these uh i think this is going to be your air inlet and then like in the pumps that i worked on there'd be a piston that went up and down and it looks like you've got one end's going to be suction and the other end's probably your suction end right here and then it, uh, you know, the air is operating the whatever in there, and then it's coming out the top, and you know, you got it lined into whatever you're doing. I might put an air fitting on on one of these, play around with them, mess with them a little bit, see if I can get them to work. I mean, if I can get them to work, I could probably probably sell them to you know some backyard Joe that <laughs> could use them. That's for sure. I know they. Uh, I used to sell a lot of these to a company that uh, that did uh, boxes. And they would use these for the inks on the uh, customers uh, box labels and stuff yeah and we'd sell a lot of the repair kits for these and i remember the repair kits it's mostly plastic uh inside rubber diaphragms neoprene whatever so i don't know play with it a little bit you know got the fittings and everything uh get what i can off scrap wise yeah you can see like right here there's some balls those are like little check valves when it goes one way i guess it's maybe like that back and forth it's got to be what it's doing side to side motion anyways yeah we got some stainless we can pop off there got some aluminum wiring over here and then the mad science uh experiment dumpster thingamajigger well we've got our breakers there's my big bucket all those breakers down in there this guy right here i'm gonna do a little video here later we're gonna take this whole thing apart and look at what's going on inside maybe this one too just curious and i know a lot of y'all are probably curious too so we'll do a little video taking this big boy apart for y'all um all these magnahelic gauges i believe all this goes with all this stuff up here these are manufactured by a company called dwyer these are actually pretty expensive they're probably worth something let me see i don't know if they're supposed to be like these this guy's not reading zero saying inches of water inches of water huh for vertical calibrated for vertical position i don't know some of these look like because they're not reading at zero some of them are i don't know they may be worth something to uh resell but they're definitely going to need to be recalibrated i put the magnet on all this stuff it's all stainless and uh, aluminum fitting so good to go there uh, and then these are uh like i said all this stuff goes together there's some hoses Tigon R3603. Yeah, Tigon manufactured by Norton. So this is decent hose for sure. 
And I'm thinking all this stuff goes with this. This is, it says it's a solid state speed control. All they cut, they cut all the, the uh, power cords off of these guys, which sucks. But I think this is what controls the fluid that, uh, let's see, works its way through these or these to this. Cause this guy over here, this is called a uh, Master Flex. It's a pump head. I looked it up online. Uh, they're very expensive new. Like we're talking a couple hundred bucks. And they're going used, it looks like anywhere from $30 to $80. Uh, they come apart. <clears throat> I wanted to see too, so I waited to see with you guys. Uh, this is all like stainless in here. Let me see. No, it's not stainless. Okay. I would think that that would be stainless. Okay, so that is not stainless. So this is definitely probably way better off trying to resell I might throw these up as a lot or maybe like I don't know 20 bucks a piece on eBay being that I don't know anything about them they don't look to be busted or anything what I'm thinking is you put the hoses in these little slots and then it kind of this crimps down on the hose you, know, you get your screw or whatever and then you've got your hoses and depending on the direction this is flowing would depend on which way the fluid comes out and goes in so that's what this is for you got your forward which probably rolls this way and then you got your reverse which probably rolls that way so probably interesting stuff definitely like science fair project crap for sure interesting interesting um this was also up in there Cut the cord off of they cut the cord off of it mechamatic and i think it's a pump of sorts looks pretty old pulse feeder says evaluated for pool spas and hot tubs so it's for definitely for moving water it's a model dolphin 50 and max feed rate gallons per day 60 60 gallons a day so it doesn't move a whole lot but i mean would you expect something to move a lot of water being that small so yeah that would be good for like a big fish tank or something probably uh got some acrylic over here didn't damage that up too bad these are definitely be cool for some crafting projects what have you a really cool scientific type of well not scientific well maybe yeah that's definitely look at that little tiny hole uh the uh the funnel it's real dirty but uh clean that up throw a couple bucks on it Let's see here got the uh ryobi hammer drill hammer throw that grad stuff and then the, we found the uh box of specs there's some 3n 3m over the glasses eyewear and then these are the oh these are cool let's open one like those are the cool looking safety glasses. Those are for the cool guys at work. Oh yeah, they fit good. Oh, those are nice. Hey, I'll take them. I mean, they even got like a, what is that? It comes with its own cover. Look at that. Cover up your own, cover up your safety specs. Well, that's kind of janky. I oh, I got it on backwards, I think. I don't know. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, those are those are hip and happening. Uh, let's see. Got the uh, the big Edison breaker here. Got three of them. They look new. I could probably post them up, you know. God, they don't look like they've been used, but I can't have, I can't test, have no way in telling, but yeah, they definitely look new. So, I don't know. Throw them up, unused, untest, or, well, I don't know unused, but untested. Yeah. Hmm. 225 amps, so definitely not gonna work in your house. 
Oh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, and then these Draeger gas detection tubes. Like, uh, th this was that bag we found. They all say expired on them. Those don't say expired, but on the bottom of them, it says used before and there's no date. So, I, I don't know, they're probably just, I don't know. Yeah, and these say expired. It says uh, expired for training only. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, it measures short-term tubes yes yeah, something 300 parts per million yeah it's some sort of gas detection tube I think you put in the uh, let's see you put in a actual like machine an analyzer or something yeah those are pretty pretty cool looking Yeah, I don't have a clue about this stuff, how this crap works. But it looks like there's some stuff in there. Looks like sand or, I don't know. Interesting. Maybe do a little research. There's probably some of y'all out there that know exactly what these are and use these. They're probably used for, uh, you know, like on the rig floors and things like that to detect the uh, presence of certain types of gases. I know like, you know, when they're drilling and, and uh, in a chemical factories they've got all different kinds of gases being you know trying you know contained or held in or whatever and you know you gotta you know like back in the day they had the was it the canary in the uh the coal mines or whatever but uh anyways all right all right all right uh oh yeah and then the oven I did plug it in, it's not coming on. I might pop the bottom off to see if there's like a fuse or something. But if not, you know, just scrap it out. It looks pretty old too, but it may be worth trying to fix. You never know. Them, uh, them laboratory ovens ain't cheap. How hot does it go? It's funny, it doesn't even have like a, uh, like it just has a gauge one and nine doesn't even give you a temperature i wonder if those maybe they're in hundreds who knows who knows who knows but uh all right guys that's gonna do it for this episode of dumpster diving i'm your host with the absolute most mike the scavenger ah as always it was a total pleasure uh be sure to like the video subscribe to my channel uh share it with your friends you know you'll get bored whatever watch it uh shout out to everybody that bought some merch appreciate that guys uh, you're interested down below teespring go get y'all some stuff and then, uh, let's see, do, do, do. oh yeah, the post office. I just went to the post office last night. I gotta go again today. There's so much stuff at the post office. I gotta go. So we're gonna have fan mail Friday tomorrow. Open up all the fan mail. I saw you dumpster, Jerry. You sent me something. Uh, yeah, and then we're just gonna keep doing what we do because it's what we love to do, right? <laughs> Take care, wash those hands. What we got here, y'all? Scrappy, scrap, scrap!